All right, good morning, everybody. It is all right. Black Paul's back here with you. We're going back to the island in Forager today. We are hopefully going to get lavender because we really, really need lavender. I uh, can't do anything there, so no point. Yeah, we need lavender for a lot of things like the glacial scriptures, um, a lot of our new upgrades. So, we just gotta get lavender. Get some fiber. Always gotta have your fiber, you know? Um, yeah. And we're gonna need, for the offensive stuff, we're gonna need royal steel and crystals. Uh, for the defensive stuff, we're gonna need... Looks like leather. We're gonna need skulls and leather. So let's go ahead and get things rolling on that front, too. Okay, let's go ahead and eat some berries. Sell the rest. Oh, we have a Mr. Slime. Yep, we got rid of Mr. Slime. Okay, so... Today is April 1st. Uh, customarily, you know, people play jokes on this alleged holiday. Um, I personally, I don't. I actually hate this day with a passion. Because I've been the victim of a lot of particularly cruel April Fool's jokes in my life. And I just don't like, I don't put people through that crap. So I don't celebrate April Fool's Day. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, more fish. Or more fish, I guess I should say. Go ahead and we'll get the fish. Oh, I got a crazy itch. Slime. Get rid of the slime. Okay, markets. Need you to restock so that I can try to get lavender. I may end up building another vault. Even though it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take away room from stuff I need, but Oh, fiber. Cool. A lot of fiber. Two leather. Well, that's two more than I had previously, so I'm not going to complain. Okay, let's get some steel going here. Okay, where am I? I'm at 24 leather. So if I had the great skulls, I could make, uh, could make the boots. Sell those. <clears throat> what do we got? We got a flower. Why haven't our shops restocked yet? Oh, we got a dig spot. Sand and bones, that's fine. Come on. Alright, let's see, what can I... Can't build squat. Okay. Oh, there's Super Mega Trader. Let's go talk to him. Spirit Orb. Yes. 
I will buy that. I will use that. Nope. Oh, well. Shoot. <laughs> we'll go for it. I didn't, I forgot. I was really close to a level. Um, so. Conjuration. Magic structures work 25% faster. Unlocks a sigil marker. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way toward the flower press. Try to get that thing going. Because I am going to need the flower press pretty badly. Especially now that I need crystal for things. So I'm just kind of figuring that that's probably going to be the way to go. Restocks in less than a minute. Great. I could use it. Oh, cool. I am still really close to a level. Nothing there. Oh, I can make all the cooked fish that I want because I used all my steel. I, I, oh, words are hard sometimes, folks. Bottle, oh, there's a torch bug. I don't need any bottle torch bugs. And I'll know when the super mega trader leaves because the screen jumps when he leaves. Oh, there we go. Lavender? Nightshade? By the thread, because I, really could, I could use that too. And you know what? We'll go ahead and we'll buy the other thread too, because why not? It's going to cost us a heck of a lot. Seaweed. Leather. Convert all of that. Okay, good. That means I can drop something else off. Uh, what to drop off, though? Uh, you know what? I'll do the sand. We'll move all of that in there. And so the highlight of your day is moving stuff into your vault. You know? But, you know, we got we got it going on, so bought a whole bunch of thread. I'm not gonna complain about that. Cause it lets us get all of that leather made. Which is stuff we do need. Get our iron, get that little bit of iron going. Sweet. Got the sickles to chew, uh, to chew on for a while so we can avoid scurvy. Always a good thing. I'm really tempted to start ma just making royal steel. I do know that I need it. That's going to tie up that forge for a very long time. You know what? Let's go ahead and get it done. Go ahead and get the royal steel made, and we can get some, uh, get at least one upgrade. We'll be able to get the uh, the amulet. It just means we'll have to eat the fish. Oh, look at how slow that's going. And that's with I think that's with the perk that increases the speed. Unlocked a factory, didn't I? I think I sure did. Glass, royal steel, and brick. Uh, I don't know if I want to make that. Because, again, you know. I think I'm going to hold off on the royal clothing for a little bit, because. 
Uh, un unless I get the lavender. The royal clothing is kind of useless. Whereas the royal steel, it has function. Even if I don't make, you know. You know what I'm trying to babble incoherently here. Sell that. Sell that. Four minutes to go. Okay. So now our, all our thread is, like, it's pure thread. So we can hold on to it. Yeah, that's another thing we need lavender for. So hopefully we can eventually get lavender so we can get some upgrades done. Stop spawning stuff in. There we go. So to this market. Hey, more fiber. Red craft. Okay. Boy, you are taking a long time. And I think that's with the perk that makes it so it works 25% faster. Okay, let's gather our stuff here. Okay. Grab that. Get you. Grab that. Okay. And sell you. And sell you. Sort our everything. Come over here. Grab the fiber. Grab the fiber. Make it to thread. Grab the one royal steel that just finished being made. Come over here, grab the fiber. Uh, got to hold on there. I gotta deal with this guy first. There we go. Okay, now what did you have? Star Fragment. I don't have anything I need. I need Lavender. I should be restocking shortly, I think. Yeah, 48 seconds. Skeleton. Why don't you do it? There we go. Got rid of the skeleton real quick. And we got more fiber. Well, today's fiber heavy episode, folks. We're going to be regular for days. Yeah, I made a joke. Not a good one, but I made one. So that. Okay. okay, they restocked. Lavender? No, but there's great skulls, and I do need those. There's still no lavender. I better buy it, because I'm probably going to need it down the line. I just got to not eat it. Sell the wheat. Get a little bit of money. Hey, got some gold. Cool. And we're still one rail steel in. It's just the waiting game now. We gotta wait for 
our shop to have lavender. We gotta wait for our furnace to finish all of the royal steel. Yeah, we're just on a... That's the second royal steel it has done in this entire episode. So we're 15, we're 15 minutes in. We probably made the decision at about like the five minute mark. So that's how long it takes to make royal steel. In this game. And again, I'm fairly sure that I have the perk that makes them work 20% faster. You know, let's check. I'm gonna check and see if I have the perk that makes them work. Unlocks real hammer, unlocks real steel, and... There it is. Furnaces and forges work 25% faster. So I have that perk. And this is 25% faster with the royal steel. Well, at least on the plus side, I'm going to have a lot of resources ready. Fine. I have a lot of resources ready to be smelted down in the forge. Or the furnace, I should say. Because that's a furnace, that's a furnace. Glorious explosion of fish traps. Got fish and sand. Okay. Iron. We need our iron and minerals. How long until restock? Five minutes. Okay. Go ahead and make some thread. I think it was a smart idea to buy out all of the all of the thread from these things. Okay. Eat some berries, get our energy back up to full. Sell those. God. It's just so slow. Give me coal. Thank you. On that one, the coal that we would have originally gotten was the big coal, and the bonus ones from geology were the smaller ones. Okay. Well, we definitely have a lot of gems. What does transmutation do here? Take steel and coal to make gems. Shame you can't go the other way. Oh, we finally got another royal steel. Oh my gosh. Just think, 15 new... Just think. A few more of those. Be able to make an amulet. Sand, got jelly, got energy, got more fish. Berries, more fish. Sell the berries. Ah, uh, nighttime. Sp I stood right on top of a skeleton as he clawed his way out of the ground. That was probably very rude of me. Oh, Super Mega Trader is back. Got nothing, honey. Sorry. I need my regular markets to have lavender. I'm going to crab about this for a while, because this 
This is ridiculous how slow this is. I mean, I know Royal Steel requires a lot of craftsmanship and all that, but... It's taking, like, six or seven minutes just to get one. Okay. They've restocked. Please have lavender. Well, you got crystal. I can buy that. Ooh, sage scrolls. I'll buy that, too. Still no lavender, though. Alright. So. Sage scrolls. Use. Oh, hold on. Gotta get rid of the skeleton first. And then we'll use that one. Here. And go up a level. Uh, drilling. Okay. There's our flower press right there. So if we can get to the next level, we'll get our flower press. And I can't say all will be right with the world, but... The, the world will be a little bit better. At least our forage world will be. Okay, so now I have crystal. I still can't make squat. But I'm closer to making squat. Arrow. Okay. So, we're still playing the waiting game, folks. There's our coal again. Come down here, get sand. Hey, we got another royal steel. So, I'm thinking it takes about seven minutes for royal steel to... Well, no, not seven minutes. Okay, we're starting at 22 minutes in the video. And we'll see if we get this done by the time the video ends. Meaning we get one royal steel done. Screen jumped, so Super Mega Trader just left. I don't know, give me good things. I'll take a call and get the experience. Come on. Come on. Give me good things here. How long until the next... Almost seven minutes. So right at the end of the video... Our markets will restock. Because we're right around, like, we just are about to cross the 23 minute mark now. So, that basically means right at the end of the video, we got another shot at Lavender. I don't know if the Forager AI director is going to be kind to us and give us the, <coughs> the Lavender right at the end of the video, but that would be great. We got a thingy. We got fish. Okay, I need to... Let's eat some fish. There we go. Sort our inventory. Stone. Fiber. Make it a thread. Citrus. Thread. Fish. Thread. which I don't need. Sell both of those. Starting to get a little full in the backpack. Citrus. Got fish. Got beets. Beets. Dig it a hole. Make it a thread. Eat the berries. 
gather more berries. Okay, it takes about three in-game minutes. I, three minutes, not three in-game minutes, to make ro one royal steel. Okay. Incidentally, that is also about how long the hours are in Seven Days to Die if you're playing 60 Minute Days. It's just there's more action and tension in Seven Days to Die, so, you're, so it seems like less. Sand, take coal. Need lavender. Hopefully, I'll be able to afford it. So, I did go on a bit of a spending spree. Like we'll get probably one more super mega trader. Uh, you, I'm sorry, you just don't have anything. You don't have the lavender that I need. You don't have royal stuff, which I admittedly also use. Um, you don't even have a spirit orb that I can sit and drool at, since I can't afford it. Restocked. Do we have lavender? Not at that one. How about this one? Oh, more great skulls. Uh, I don't have enough money for the plastic. Okay, so how long till our next restock? Ten minutes. Ouch. Okay, well, let's see here. I'm closing in on the great skulls that I need to use. I uh, need royal clothing for that. Need plastic and bottled butterflies for that, so that's another thing we're going to have to wait for our shops to have. There's another royal steel, so we're up to seven royal steel right now. Oh, we got fish traps popping. Sand. That going. More sand. Okay. Thank you for sand. Take the flower. Yeah, so next level we'll be able to get the flower press, which means we'll be able to manufacture crystal on our own. Which is a good thing. There's my fish. There's my fish. There we go. Bleed the fish. Got our thread. Fertilize the slime for extra money. Get our fiber. Amethyst and coal. More fish for the stockpile. Murder slime for energy and money. And we're just about out of time for today's installment. and we'll uh, go ahead and wrap up. Save and exit. So, tomorrow, we are going to be going back into the joke mod because uh, the creator of the mod actually gave me uh, advice on how to get it working. And I got it working. And I'll explain what we're going to do with that tomorrow. Uh, so, with that being said... 
until next time, everyone, please remember, be safe, be well, stay strong, stay healthy, both physically and mentally. There are a lot of people out there, like myself, who are having issues right now. Please be good to each other. Please do the best you can for each other. Folks, I will see you all next time.